Thanks Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. What's up guys? I'm here with Carter Share. What's up guys? We're gonna be cooking some steaks. Are you ready, Carter? Oh, I'm so ready and I'm so hungry. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's cook a lot of steaks and we have different things for them to try. And we're gonna find out which one is better. Let's go. And here's what we have that retails in a restaurant for over $15,000 worth of steaks. We got prime ribeye steaks, high quality Wagyu filet mignon, insane skirt steaks as appetizers. And of course, we cannot forget about the star of the show, Japanese Wagyu A5 steaks, the highest grading of steak there is, also known as the best of the best. Careful whenever you're eating this one, you might make some funny faces. And as you know, I love knives. And apparently, Tim Rar does as well. To make the yeah, the very 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 one oh! This is the best two days of my life. So we're definitely coming to you in Florida, and we have to eat armadillo over there. Armadillo. Let's go. And yes. other stuff too. Weird other stuff. stuff. Everything, Everything weird. Yes. Trying all the weird things. All the weird yeah, stuff. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> this cube right here is one of the densest and heaviest materials in the world. It's tungsten alloy. Take a look at this real quick. Play. What? Hey, what are you? Oh, obscenely heavy and dense material is tungsten alloy. It's one of the densest materials you can buy. This thing is super difficult and only some are worthy. I can't. Try again. I, Let's see it. I, I just tried. You have five seconds. Five. Hold up. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah! Oh, you got it now. Oh, but it's heavy. The wrist it's all about the it's heavy. on the one side. Now that was a lot of fun, but it's time to get back to work. You see, whenever you have high quality steaks like this, you want to keep the seasoning extremely simple. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder is good enough. One of the most important things you got to look for is to make sure you season it well, because the last thing you want is for it to lack seasoning. However, I highly recommend keeping it simple. And the most important one of them all is to make sure you get a good amount of salt. Before cooking it, we have a little challenge for the guys. Let's see if they are up for it. The raw Japanese Wagyu A5 challenge. Oh yes. Every time I walk in with a Japanese Wagyu A5 to anybody's house, the first thing they say is, Hey Guga, can I eat that thing raw? Well, yes you can. We're only doing this because I trust it. Alright? Mm -hmm. I trust my resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. very important. You shouldn't do this. Oh! oh Alright. Oh, that yeah. looks good. You yeah. should put a little bit of salt. You're going to have some food. Yeah, whatever. Don't touch the knife? Yeah, it's very sharp. Don't let the salt fall. Oh! Yeah, you can press it, you can press it. Right. There you go. There we go. I got some salt, ready? Here it is. This is probably like $1,000 right here. Yeah. <laughs> this little. <laughs> it's probably at least 20 bucks. Gross? Good. No, that's delicious. That's so good. I would eat that. Did, did it melt that's in your mouth? Oh, yeah. It's yeah? gone. Oh, de definitely different, but the flavor is amazing. Uh, all right, that's salt on there. Yeah, a little bit of salt in there. All right. Yeah. And this is flank. Uh, sure. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Now here's the big question. Would you eat it raw? Let me know in the comment section. Because now that we have all of our steaks seasoned, the only thing left to do is to cook them. For that, I'm first going to be searing all of them with some thyme, garlic, and butter. Then I'll be finishing them off in the oven until it reaches an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook all of these steaks. So let's do it.
puppy tries good with steak. She loves her steak. Here we go. So much better. Oh, come on. Good girl. Good girl. How do you? What do you think? She's like shaking and wiggling. She loves it so much. Ooh, exactly how I feel too. Her belly's getting full. She's gonna take a good nap today. Oh, she's spitting all the rice out. She just wants the meat. She doesn't care about no, you're rice. dropping the rice everywhere. Now that it's ready, let me talk to you about this delicious, healthy cereal that is sponsoring today's video, Magic Spoon. I love it in the mornings with my milk or a healthy snack between steaks. You see this? It is a different kind of cereal. It has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four grams of carbs in each serving, and only 140 calories per serving. They are keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soil-free, and low-carb. Check them out. The variety pack comes with cocoa, fruity, fried frosted and peanut butter. And this one right here is my favorite. It's the peanut butter. Oh, and now they also have new flavors, maple waffle, cookies and cream, as well as blueberry and cinnamon. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed up with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Click my link below and use code GOOGLEFOODS at checkout to get $5 off your order. What flavor are you gonna get first? Let me know in the comments. Thank you Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. It was incredible. I don't even know how to describe some of those flavors that I experienced today, I gotta say. So we have a lot of things. We had the skirt steak. Yes, that one was the first one that like blew me away. So that juicy, one, right? So juicy, the flavor, just tenderness. It's amazing. A lot of people don't know what an A5 tastes like. How would you describe it? Because for some people it's too rich, yeah. for other people it's just like rich enough. Yeah. How about for you? I think for me, oh man, that one was definitely the most crazy flavor. I, I learned how to eat it. So yeah. the first time I got the whole thing through my mouth, it just exploded <laughs> with flavor, juices, my mouth was water, I could barely talk. And then I learned, you know, you cut it small, the amount of flavor in just the smallest little piece across your tongue is like a cloud of like flavor. I don't know, it's something I've never had before. For yeah, sure. it's better a little bit, not little too much. Little bits, yes, you little see? bites. And I was encouraging everyone to try the little bits because that's where you really experience it. See, they always tell me, I will eat the whole steak. And I tell the audience, it's very difficult to eat the whole steak, almost impossible. It's like candy, you know, you gotta eat it. You don't eat it candy, like a big bowl of candy. Perfect example, little nobody bits. ever said that, it's exactly. Like, it's like dessert. If steak was a dessert, that's that's what that is. That would be. What yeah. about the filet mignon and the chateaubriand? How did you like that one? That one, I would say, is probably my favorite if I wanted like a meal for a steak. The filet was so lean, but so tender and soft, and the flavor was just perfect. I could eat a lot of that one. Yeah, and that one is the <laughs> one that you can eat it as a, a full dinner, basically. And I did, I ate a lot of that one. It was just so good. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys, those are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check Carter out. I'm gonna put his link on the description down below so you can check out his channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.